Oh, but that is a fantastic put away. Doesn't matter if you go under the net on the beach, as long as you don't interfere with the other team. And a great chase from Holtwick puts the ball in play, and then Sendler just delivers with no block. There's no trouble for him. Oh, it's getting in the right place, it's just not making the touches she needs to get it back in play. As Maria puts that one away cross court. Line blocks were signalled by Semler, which is why Holtwick was ready in that cross court position. It just gave up a little too much to her left. Good swing. Well, when it's there to be hit, Holtwood can deliver. Well, both teams are giving as good as they get at the net. Both of them coming up with some very hard hits. each other's defence under immense pressure in the opening stages of this first set. Now it's a uh, change of going to Semler. Semler, well, looked like she's going to put it away cross court. She's only played it, ball's tight to the net, he was moving away from her. And an unforced error gives Brazil a three-point lead. Just drops her left side and loses balance in the air as a result. but it was a late press from uh, Carroll. And as a result, the hands were pretty much parallel to the net when the ball was contacted on them, which is why it went sailing out over the baseline and didn't go straight down. If her hands had already been across the net, it would have gone straight down. Just a joy to watch both these teams absolutely hitting the stitching off of the ball at the net and making it look so easy. That one's up and into the stance. Nice little shooter from Semler. Maria had already run to the line. And as soon as the player leaves their station early, it makes it that much easier for the attacker. Watch the defender in the back row. Off she goes. Loads of space cross court. Easy for Semler. Come here. That's nicely done. Semler jumping into the cross court. So that shot from Carroll was just literally inches away from her, uh, from Semler's left arm. But a mile away from where Holtwick was trying to cover. to come over, bit of free ball here for Germany. Holtwick again tasked with scoring the points a little close to the net. And again Brazil rescue it. Chance here now to score. But Semler makes a play in defence. Still though, Brazil on the front foot in this rally. Although now Germany almost rescued it back. Still though, Brazil on the attack. And eventually it goes down. Great play from Maria. A little pokey away from Holtwick. And Brazil get the point, very taxing rally, everybody involved offensively as well, everyone had a swing, everyone played a little bit of defence. But in the end, it was Brazil who come up with the point. Great work from Semler, she's a blocker. And such is the skill level on the beach, all the players need to be able to do a bit of blocking, a bit of hitting, setting and everything else. That was the only option Holtwick had. Unfortunately though, she then tried to move to that cross court, didn't she? So very delighted Brazil and Germany having called that time and calling themselves four points down. And watching this game, and those of you watching from wherever you have to be watching from, you're thinking, do you know what? This is a cracky game. Both teams playing well, yet Brazil have a four-point lead. It's not as if Germany are playing badly. <laughs> Go, 
Just let it like a sore thumb. And the ball that popped the left drop. Then the swing from Semler cross court, which didn't make it. And then off the back of that, Brazil forcing the issue with two good plays in transition. It means they have this four point lead. Chases on, and that's not a good play. Oh, what an angle that is. Brazil playing brilliantly, and Germany were left square on the net, flat-footed on that last play. Nobody moved around to cover the angle, which was pretty much the only place to go was that angle there, cross-court. Loads of space, really well put away by Maria. Brazil in the driving seat now in this first set. Beautiful shot down the line, a little emotion, a little passion, a little fist pump from the train. So Holtwick makes the side out. She goes back to serve. Strong rotation for Germany because Semler, the blocker, is already at the net. So can put pressure on Brazil. They should try and go over on two. Oh, well, Semler got her hands up but didn't get them across the net. Fat turned her body towards the referee, which is why it went down their own side. And the technical timeout. Brazil have a very commanding five-point lead. Can you warm up that band? You're looking for a cool class and dresser? Check out Messi, cool down zone. Perfect place. It's all going well at the moment for Brazil. And it's all thanks to their defense. They're managing to put the ball into transition. In other words, when uh, Germany trying to side out, they're attacking. But Brazil are able to get their hands on the ball and then put it back towards so then they can turn that defense into offense called transition play. And as a result, they're scoring the three points that they've been able to score in addition to the two errors from Germany, which has given them the lead that they have. So Germany knows that they have no more enforced errors here, they've still got to be solid with their side out game. They have to find the sand or get it off the block and out or off an arm and out of play. And they can't afford to allow Brazil to keep digging. <laughs> That's a nice angle from Colwick. Colwick on the right, the lefty one time. If I can be gold medals. And what do you Similar with the serve for Germany. And that is a classic example of a weak rotation being exploited on the beach. Similar the server having to get through to block, but was only halfway there, and Brazil decided to hit on two and make it, make it look very easy as a result. You're going to serve tough if you're the blocker to stop the other team from taking advantage of you not being in the net. So with a very easy roll. Once Germany keep the ball off the net, they're giving themselves more the chances. Nice play for Holtwick. Nice to score a point. Semler covers. Holtwick, desperation pokey. Oh, well, that excellent play from Brazil. It had to be that good because Holtwick had read where Brazil were going to put the ball and she was after it. But it was such an acute angle. It was just too good. That was brilliant. Wonderful play from Carroll. Maria with the serve for Brazil. going to be a free ball. Hoisted high to allow Germany to get set in defence. But it's of no use at all because Brazil come up with an angle on the other side of the court and extend their lead to six points. Height equals time on the beach and indoors. And Germany trying to give themselves time to play defence. But it was no good. Maria. 
she finishes in style off the net. But she hammers that one straight down the middle, nice and deep, putting both uh, Hogwick and Semler under immense pressure. Licensed to swing, and she took it. That's good play. One thing Hogwick can do, she can hit just as good as any other player on the beach. She's one of the top spikers when she puts her mind to it. And one of the reasons why her and Semler won in Orland last year, that's uh, in Finland, was because she was so aggressive. She was a real bully at the net. And if she can rekindle that kind of form, well, Germany will be in with a shout. But at the moment, it's too little from Hogwick. But that'll do nicely from Semler. Touch days to bring them back to within five. Tough jump float serve. Similar once again. Good dig, Holtwick. Oh, that was unlucky. Semler trying to get some speed across the sand. It's not easy. This sand uh, quite powdery on the top surface. And you can lose your footing. Right, so now, Germany want the side out and then looking to get some momentum they can take into the second set because this first set has surely slipped away from them. Good work. A free ball. Affording Germany the chance to play side out once again. And at the second time of asking, down goes the ball. 18-30. So Holwick has a look, sees a bit of space. But she's unable to take advantage of that from the serving line. And now Brazil just two points away from taking the opening set. Ball and just about pays dividends. The ball off the block and out of play. Semo deciding she wanted to go quicker to try and put time pressure on Brazil. Maria! Hand was up early, Pokey was signalled early. Old Whitlow was unable to determine which way it was going to go. And then Brazil have their set point. 14. Have to serve. Oh, Brazil won't be worried by that. They've now got five opportunities to get the job done from the side out. Thanks to the wall time here for Germany. And it'll be Holtman with the serve from way back. And it's put away emphatically by Brazil. They take the first set, 21-15, and they have one foot in the final. Well, that's a fantastic first set from Brazil. Let's have a look at some of the highlights. And in the opening phases, it was pretty much neck and neck, wasn't it? Uh, five each. Pretty much, and then it was Brazil just made those few plays from uh, Germany's offense, putting the ball into transition, and then as a result, were able to uh, just get themselves a two-point lead, and that extended to three. It was all about the work that Maria was doing behind the blocking of Carolina, and then coming in with some excellent angles, a world-class volleyball from Brazil. just that uh, reverse angle of that play and just how quickly did uh, Carol get up and then find that angle even with Holtwick there and her being a left-hander so she was strong going that way such a probably the play of the set from Brazil and there's definitely no question that they were the better team in that first set Germany played okay Brazil were uh, world class 
It might still rain this morning, but it will brighten up due to be very hot later today. And we have five more matches to come from Centre Court. As the women's event will climax. And the first point to Brazil in this second set. We will have another in the semi plus the bronze and gold, and then we'll have two men's sets before the day is out. Here in Long Beach, Southern California, the home of beach volleyball. So I hope it gets the side out. And not only is the uh, World Tour being hosted here, the uh, ASICS World Series Cup is also going on. So teams are playing on the World Tour will be invited to play in that tournament over the weekend after this one finishes. Well, Brazil have come out firing very early. Two one now for Brazil, off the back of that play, and the pressure is clearly on Germany. Right from the word go here, Brazil looking to try and establish an early lead. Well, that'll do nicely. Hopwood levels the score at two apiece with that wipe off. But Brazil, every time they side out, for a give a point away, will have the lead. Line block signal. So Holtwick will sit cross court. So they'll try and take away the line, and that's exactly what they've managed to do. Holtwick chasing down the cross court roll, coming up with the line roll. And that's good play because Germany have now edged in front here, 3 2, in what is a must win set for them. Excellent play. And, and as simple as it sounds, that's probably the most effective play on the beach. Block line, defend cross court from the sand. You're blocking line, you're trying to take away 10% of the court in the air and cover 90% from the sand. If you do it the other way around, well, think about that. That's a lot of court to cover in the air, isn't it, if you're blocking cross? A little bit of luck for Semler, but they won't mind that because now they lead by four points to two. Brazil, of course, with that first set win. Those of you that have been watching, those who are just joining us, well, you've uh, turned on to an absolute cracker of a match. Germany looking to take this second set and force the issue taken into a decider. But they'll need to make sure they don't make any more unforced errors because they know they'll be punished. But also, they all know in the back of their minds that Brazil at any moment could pounce and turn their side out, Germany's side out, into Brazil's transition and ultimate point. Hotwick taking the sun sunnies off. A serve. Semler says he was out. Line judge still pointing to say it was in. And uh, the referee agrees. And that's the end of that. Eyes on the line. Absolutely no reason for the referee to come off the sand. Oh, yes. Sand splash doesn't count, but I'll tell you what, that was close. And the referee and line judge in agreement that it caught the tape. So that's it. Four points all. Brazil back on level terms. Good touch. Nice dig from Sendler. And Holtwick finishes it off. So such a class act is Katrine Holtwick. And most of you thinking she looks a little bit familiar. Well, she looks a little bit like Kate Moss, doesn't she? Not quite as tall. And no one here at Kate Moss is nowhere near as strong as Holtwick, that's for sure. Nice touch. So important, Elka Semler up and across the net with her hands. And it's just the fact she's gotten them across, fingertips on the ball, sending it down. And Germany now with a two-point advantage. Good play. Carolina jumping to her left, turning in the air to open up the cross court back to her right. Brazil banks back with a block of their own and level the scores. Nice play from Carolina. First block for her. And eyes only for the ball. And that's really good blocking because she may have been taking cross or line, but as soon as it got tight in there, she just went to put her hands on the ball. Oh, good serve. 
Sendler not moving her feet and making a baseball style swing and straight away look at that call the timeout. Well there's two types of swing and those of you that know your sport will know what I mean when I say you make a baseball swing so you've got the bat in your hand or you make a golf swing when you've got the club in your hand. If you make a baseball style swing with your arms on the beach you've got nothing to stop the ball from coming back to the net. If you make a golf style swing that means your shoulders will be facing the net and you've got a platform that the ball can be banged off and come back towards the net. Semler was turned by the ball, she was pretty much facing the crowd, baseball swing, off it went, skidded off her arms and out of play. Half the battle, not only in passing but also in defence, is keeping your shoulders facing the net. And if you can do that, you're going to make more digs than you're going to miss. And more passes for that matter. Add into that as well, the fact that you want to make sure that your platform, your legs, your base are nice and wide and if you can contain the ball. In other words, if you're stepping to your left to pass, you want your left leg outside the ball so it's coming into your body where you're nice and strong with your arms and shoulders facing back to the target. So has the timeout done in Germany any good? They need a side out here, Sandler with a much better pass. But the block is better still. That's two now for Carolina. Uh, Brazil with a two-point advantage. Semler coming in cross-court, swinging back to the line. Good deception, great work from Carolina, starting inside, then jumping out to take the line away. And Semler again having problems with the pass. And it's costing Germany points. Watch Semler's feet. Does she move them? No, she doesn't. Does she stand still? She twists her body. She doesn't create any space for which to play the ball. Easy dig for Brazil. Could be an easy point. And it is. Germany at sixes and sevens at the moment. Both players going away from where the ball was played. They went from team mode to individual play in this rally. Holtwick goes back, then she moves. They both move to the left. The ball goes to the right. Easy lead for Semler. A little bit of relief for her. Oh, that's just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Maria jumped, had a look to see where Holtwick was. Looked like she was going to play a line, and then as she contacted it, turned her hand and brought it back cross court. Phenomenal play. Right now, Holtwick is guessing as to where this ball is going to go. <laughs> Semler back with some power. There's an interesting contact point, Semler. It's almost as if the ball's got away from her. But she's got a very strong shoulder set able to deliver plenty of pace through the ball. Let's try to make Semler will fancy her chances, but she doesn't get enough on the ball to send it Hogwick's way, and Hogwick caught behind Semler. And then as a result, slightly unsighted, trying to chase the ball down. Interesting is that Brazil changed their tactics by going after Semler oh, on the the line. They were going after Holtwick, but as soon as Semler made a couple of passing errors, they've gone after her. It's a bit like going after a wounded animal. And that's exactly the situation that Germany find themselves in at the moment. They are wounded, they're one set down, they're behind the technical timeout, they have to come out fighting in the second half of the second set, otherwise their dreams of gold here in Long Beach will be over. And they will be in the uncertain situation of playing in the bronze medal match, but possibly playing and leaving with nothing. Such is the 
cool reality of sport this level. Four teams competing for three medals. It's musical chairs. And when that music stops, one team will be left standing. The other teams in the semi-final, the Brazil and USA in Qatar. I won't give you the names, you'll have to wait and tune in for that game. Great hook shot, Unreal. So simple pokey for Brazil, and they get an instant side out. <laughs> so Brazil sticking with Semler, and it's paying dividends again. Third block <laughs> for Carolina. Carolina. 49. She got her timing spot on, just went slightly after Semler, hands on the ball, and enough angle to see it drop inside the baseline. Rio de Janeiro. Another point for Brazil, rather cheaply given away. Is Brazil. Very much in the driving scene, that's for Chile. They don't have any timeouts left, they called their 7 6 down, and that's it, they've just got to play through this now. Seven of rolls and straight on to Maria. Although that's going to come over again, another chance here for Brazil. And going on to is good enough, and once again, Germany find themselves out of position, out of sorts in this second set. Facing line, good swing, Senna picks it up but doesn't get enough of her hips under the ball to keep it on her side, and then it's an easy put away for Maria. Talk about getting hips under the ball, in other words, you push your hips forward and under, that brings your body position, almost like you're limboing under the ball, but that's the ball up into the air instead of forwards and into the air. And an unforced error from Germany, compounding matters now for Hotwick and Semler. And their view of the final is becoming more and more distant. Maria Clara with the serve. Too much. Oh, I was going to say too much on that one because Holbrook was still on the line and watched it. But that's landed a mile in. What a play. Brilliant from Brazil. Full stretch dig. Brings it back and then slightly off balance. Cuts it from four to four. And you think about the indoor game. But that one from one corner of the court to the other. Fantastic. Play of the match. Good dig. Let's slow things down. Hopwood with a chance to put it away, and she does. She's not had any chances to attack in this second set because Brazil sensed that Semler wasn't operating sufficiently well enough inside out and have gone after her, hence the eight point lead. Hopwood to serve for Germany. Straightforward cut shot from Carolina. And now Brazil are on the verge of a place in the final. And they get the wipe off, and now they get match point. The ball was hit hard oh, enough to allow the high hands defence. And as a result, Brazil are able to put the ball away. Carroll to serve. Cross court angle, good enough for Semler. First match point is saved, but look at that. 
nine opportunities for Brazil. All they need is one side out from nine chances, similar to serve for Germany. Hot Wicks read that one. First and second match point saved. Brazil put the ball down and it's Brazil who go through to the final. Excellent work from the Salgado sisters, Carolina and Maria, beating Germany's Catherine Holwick and Ilka Semela in straight sets and deservedly have put their place into the final here at this Long Beach.